Indeed, this conference comes at a timely time as the continent has been served with a cocktail of calamities, including a looming debt crisis. During the conference, Augustus Nwagaba, a principal economist, emphasized the need for critical thinking when it comes to borrowing. He emphasized that it is essential to carefully consider the sources of borrowed funds, particularly avoiding short-term borrowing for long-term investments. Because we have got a number of models which have been tested, and it is important that we look at what other countries have done. Countries have put in place frameworks that are regulatory and very, very strong to ensure that such opportunities are not wasted and you make it very, very expensive. Additionally, the conference explored the impact of domestic borrowing on private sector financing. It was observed that relying heavily on domestic borrowing can discourage private sector participation as commercial banks often allocate significant funds to government. ESCOM and Umeme, I am comfortable because whereas it came as Umeme was foreign, Umeme has increasingly become Ugandan by our listing of our Ugandan taking interest. One of the notable examples cited at the conference was South Korea, which boasts the most efficient planning authority in the world. The South Korean model demonstrates the significance of only taking on viable projects, ensuring their success and long-term benefits. One person there out of show wish to trigger that we have here that a lot been discussing at length is the question of special product device, which sometimes people call SDRs. The recoverable cost, if we don't take much care there, the maximum we can get annually on oil revenue is $2 billion. To address these challenges and foster smart borrowing, the conference proposed several solutions. Firstly, developing partnerships emerged as a key strategy to leverage resources and expertise. Promotion of local content through the Buy Uganda, Build Uganda initiative, along with deliberate technological transfer and training programs by promoting knowledge exchange and providing training opportunities. Wadulo Mark Arnold, UBC News in Kampala.